the year is 2024. You would easily agree with me that Hyundai is now a staple for reliability in Nigeria. I mean, based on motoring. Back in the day, nobody would just go and buy a Nigerian used Hyundai because they are scared. Ah, this car just came. Do we know about it? But now, Toyota, Hyundai, Honda, they are on the same level. And this car you are looking at is one of those cars that changed the design of compact cars. Not just in Nigeria, all over the world. The 2011 to 2016 Hyundai Elantra is the third generation of the Elantra. And when this car came out, everybody just went, wow. That is when we knew that Hyundai was up to something, just based on design. Like, we hadn't even checked the engine, how we drove or anything, just from the looks. You see a very, very clean design. So this is one of the best looking compact executive cars you can daily drive in Nigeria. And today I'm going to be telling you why I think this is a great choice. Either as foreign use or Nigerian use, why this is a great choice. I also tell you what you should look out for before buying the Hyundai Elantra. My name is Crank and this is 234 Drive. The headlights, beautiful. This is the car Hyundai also used to test their fluidic sculptic design. That's what they call it. Fluidic sculptic. What that means is that they will design the car like water is flowing through. So you see these lines. Like water is flowing through. Okay? Water is flowing through the body. Although this makes it very difficult for panel builders to get it right when they are beating this car to shape. Maybe you have an impact on the side. It's best to just change the door. Because once they mess with these lines, you no longer have a Hyundai. I'm sorry. Like it's a it's a compact car. It doesn't look sporty. No, it doesn't look sporty. Although there's a sport edition, it doesn't look sporty. It just looks modern, looks fun, looks cool. Yeah, it's a very cool looking compact daily driver car. And it's also executive. At the same time, executive compact. That is the category this car falls in. So yeah, I love how it looks in front. Also at the rear, the tail lights and the headlights, they are kind of similar. It looks like they just changed it, then put the one in front, put it to the back. Like, they have, they, have, they, have, they have the similar features. They run on the side of the car, run forward. You see the headlights, so it runs from the side of the car, runs forward. So the car is uniform all around and it looks really good. It's a very great compact car to have. Like I said, if you mess with the lines on the body of this car, then you just mess it up. Mind you, the bumper grill is based on the trim you are buying. And not every Elantra has the fog light. This is a GLS trim. That's why it has a fog light. You can see that this headlight inside, they have a one LED inside. At night, it looks very beautiful. It's going to glow yellow or white, depending on the bulb that is there. So yeah, this is a very good looking car. And uh, let's check out the interior. Let's see what this car has to offer us on the inside. Mm, nice. I love the freshness of the interior. Remember the Sonata we did some months ago? That one also has a playful design, but this one is playful but not as playful as the Sonata. So this one is is really really inch on that executive um, area based on design. The AC controls, lower here, the radio here. You need to be careful of one thing. Depending on the screen that comes with your Hyundai Elantra. If it comes with those screens that has like blue, this one now is the blue screen type. So with time, sun or it just degrades and the blue screen might fade off. This one I can see a yellow patch or a patch on it. The screen might fade off, dry up, so you change it, you change the whole radio unit. You can upgrade it to Android or you just replace it with the radio unit that was there before. Like the interior is, is giving me straight to the point. I don't know how you say that word, it's giving me, it's giving me, it makes me sound like I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, you get what I'm saying, actually giving me straight to the point because everything is just where it is supposed to be. Right place, right time, right size. So yeah, I love how this car feels. Ah, sadly there's nothing that can just be good, 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 good. This car has a very, very weak interior, the plastics. In fact, the outside plastic itself, why does the outside plastic? The only thing plastic outside is this, uh, maybe this, that's broken off. See what I'm saying? The door handle, OT law, that's broken. To replace this door handle now, you have to buy a new set. So yeah, these things break. If I use Agidi to open this thing now, to break off. So yeah, with this car, interior plastic is not strong. Also, the leather inside this car is peeling, so it's not strong. That's the only downside to this car. The quality of the build is not great. It's just average. 
So if you're a kind of person that just you throw everything here, you hit this one, you slam this one, this car not go last for your hand to break off easily. So this car comes in different trims. This is the GLS, that's why it is leather. There's the limit, okay, highest is the limited, and the GLS is the perfect in between. Then we have the L, yeah, so that's the base version. There's the L, there's the GLS. There's now a GT, Elantra GT. That one is like the sporty, sporty one, but that came later. But for this one, so you have the, like I said, limited is the highest trim. The base trim is the L. Then we have the GL. This is the GL. That's why it has the other seat. The normal base trim will not have plate seat. So depending on the trim you get, you get sunroof, a bigger screen, navigation, heated seats. That's what comes with the limited. But yeah, this car is very, very comfortable on the inside. Uh, this car is powered by a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. I tell you, this engine is very, very reliable. This is the 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. Very, very reliable. Also paired to a six speed transmission. Yes, the Hyundai Elantra was the first compact car in 2011 when it came out. First compact car to have a six speed transmission. Before then, Corolla, Accord, all those cars just used to have five speed transmission. Elantra came and gave us something faster, so this car feels quick. It's quicker than most of its rivals. It doesn't drive like uh, like sporty or drive like aggressive now. It's a very normal, boring car to drive. It does drive. This car is very, very generous when it comes to fuel economy. This car conserves fuel like 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 crazy. It doesn't chop fuel at all. Very, very economical. So tell me, what more do you want? Fluidic sculpture design, design that looks very attractive, a quick transmission, and now fuel economy. Please subscribe to this channel now, not tomorrow, not in the next few minutes, not when you finish watching this video. Now, subscribe now. Why? Because these things are actually important. That is how we grow, that's how we are able to come back every week to give you more videos. If you don't subscribe, our shop will close. We will close down. That's how it works. Please help us. Help us to help you help us. <laughs> yeah, help us, just help us grow. Subscribe, like, share this video. Back to the video. I tell you, I tell you for free, there's no any other car in this price range. Talking about the price range, I haven't told you yet. The price range of this car. Tokumbo of this car will cost between eight and ten million naira. Why do you use one now? It will cost between four point eight and maybe five point five six million naira. Tokumbo eight ten million naira. Before this price went up this car used to be actually five million or six million or but prices have gone up and everything is just up but still for that price there's no compact car that will give you all the features that this car offers you especially when you buy the limited trim so with all those things like this car is technologically advanced and it has a lot there's even a tech package that has a full satellite navigation so that tech package now there's no any other car there's no there's no there's no Corolla or accord in that category of price that will offer you what this car is offering you. Now, let me tell you problems you should watch out for when buying this car. If you want to buy this car, you want to buy a Nigerian used one, a Tokes one, the first issue is try to get a proper diagnostic of the car. Try and see all the issues. I can't say this enough. Try and check the proper diagnostic of the car. Get the car scanned. Check everything you need to check on the car before going into like the press box. Particular to this car, here are some of the common problems that you will face if you own this car or when trying to buy this car. First one is an engine ticking sound. Mm. And people name it the piston slap. Like you just start the car in the morning and you're saying, ka -ka 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 and something is, you think it's a rock car, but it is deeper than that. It is a piston slap. Mm. And it actually has no solution, no solution. Except they open your engine and rebuild it. And I want to advise that. So if you meet a Hyundai Elantra that has that, knocking sound when it starts like don't buy it just leave it leave it for you now don't buy it because you have to change the engine so just leave it the second problem is that i just starting the car it's cranking it's cranking it's cranking but it's not starting then you check it you don't see anything and battery is okay the kick is okay if the kick is not okay it won't crank now so it's just cranking and won't start so maybe your timing chain has jumped the position because the timing chain guide inside this engine is plastic. That's some BMW vibe. The timing chain guide inside the engine is plastic. So it can break and the chain guide, once there's no chain guide, it means the chain is free to roam about any hour it likes. So it jumps time and then it starts. So what you have to do that one is that one is not a big issue. Open up the engine and you 
replace the timing chain guide. So those are the two serious problems you face with this car. Other problems are this car is very, very common to have an alternator issue. Alternator light just comes up, you have to change your alternator. So yeah, alternator issue is very common with this car. You should know that this car is an electric mm. power steering. But thankfully, the electric power steering is not as expensive as one of Lexus or Benz. Because it doesn't even damage easily. So try and avoid water, try and avoid eating it hard on the ground, so that your electric power steering will not spoil. Once you start the car, the steering is hard, you know that that's an electric power steering problem. The first problem that could possibly happen to your car is you start the car, you start the car normally, you start the car normally, we are turning the steering, but the tire is not moving. You turn the steering, the tire is not moving. Like I just turning the steering in vain. The tire is not moving. Just calm down, that is a very small issue. This car has a steering coupler somewhere in the steering column that is rubber. So once that rubber cuts, you no know rubber, a rubber can cut. Once the rubber cuts, a turning is that rubber that allows your steering to respond to your tire. Rather, is that rubber that allows your tire to respond to your steering? So if that rubber has cut, you have to change it. That's another common issue on this car. The last set of problems possible on this car will be leg problems. I say leg as in Nigerian. Suspension problems, ball joint, lower arm, that drive in kulu kulu, kulu kulu kulu, kulu kulu, that one is normal. This is a Korean car, it's not, it's not that strong. So yeah, suspension issues will come up when you're trying to buy this car. That one is a small thing, fix it and drive the car moderately on bad roads, don't speed on bad roads. That aside, this is a great car to own. I told you, it was one of the first cars that gave us this crazy design, looking design, gave us six-speed transmission, give us a lot of packages, tech package in this car. Just, it's just very advanced, like for a 2011 car. Because 2011 then, cars have not really gotten crazy technologically. I mean, for base, for like basic prices, for base options. I'm talking about in comparison with the price now, like the price point of this car, when it came out, it offered a lot more. It offered us a lot more than we actually paid for. That's why I like the Elantra a lot. So if you find a very good clean, Elantra buy it and try to keep it clean because you know you cannot mess with this body design like I told you. My name is Crank and this is 234 Drive. If you want to buy this car, any other car, you need advice, you need professional guidance, please send us an email, cars at 234drive.com and we will be happy to point you in the right direction. I just showed you everything good, everything nice and the good size, the bad size of the Hyundai Elantra third generation. That's 2011 to 2016. See you next time. Bye.